Okay, so this is the new Republic Attack shuttle. It is 60 US dollars and 636 pieces. Uh, it's brand new for January and it's in keeping with the Star Wars Clone Wars TV show and movie theme that Lego's been doing lately. So today I thought I'd do a bit of a review and a bit of a comparison between this shuttle and this older uh, Imperial landing craft just to give you uh, some thoughts and because uh, both of these are pretty similar so yeah I just thought I'd do that today so first of all uh, this was very easy to build I uh, didn't really have a problem with it very straightforward there's no decals on it which is kinda nice but uh, nothing really that confusing about it at all uh, as far as the design goes I really like the look of it I like the colors the red and the yellow and the the way that they use these gun pieces you wouldn't normally see, they're like these barrel connectors, I really like that. Uh, so the ship comes with three minifigs, you get your standard clone with no helmet accessories in this one. And in here you get a clone pilot with uh, no controls inside the ship for some reason. You can see nothing in there, but uh, there is space for two in there, so you can put both your clones. You do get another minifigure, and I'll show you where he is a little bit later. Uh, just to compare real quick, this is the Imperial Landing Craft. It is 50 US dollars. It's currently not sold by Lego anymore, but it is 471 pieces, so it's ten dollars less, and about 130, 140 pieces less. Uh, as far as looks go, this one's not as good looking as the new one. Uh, I don't really like the solid whites, but it's still, it's not bad looking. So, this set does come with five minifigures, though. So you do get some more people. You get your pilot, stormtrooper pilot. And then you get a stormtrooper captain, which is kind of hard to find. And then you get three regular stormtroopers. And, uh, yeah. So there's that. Uh, going back to the shuttle. Like I said, very easy to build. I do like these wings, how they kind of outcrop like that, but there is a problem with them. Uh, they're not geared in any way, so it's just on a hinge, so they won't stay up at all, which is kind of irritating. So, But, you know, other than that, I think it's really cool. Uh, if you look at this ship, they did gear the wings, which is really nice. So you can twist them out and kind of keep them there's a little knob down here, sorry. You just twist it out any way you want, and it will just stay in position anywhere. And it doesn't really take up that much space either, so I'm not sure why Lego didn't go with this design in the old one, or in the new one, excuse me. So, that's kind of irritating that they didn't do that. The other thing that's kind of annoying when I first saw this ship, uh, I didn't know why it had this tower on it. Uh, I'll get to why it does, but if you just kind of look at it without knowing what it does, it's kind of just kind of messes with the whole design because you see it without it looks a lot better. Also, in the movie Star Wars: Clone Wars, this ship is piloted by two uh, scout snipers, which are a heck of a lot cooler than just the regular clone and the pilot. But I guess they decided not to go with that either. Uh, as far as the ship goes, you get uh, these little guns on the front. Both of them rotate cockpit opens, wings up and down as I showed you. Then you get these side panels that open up like this. Same on the other side. And inside here are the bombs that drop out. And it's pretty cool how they do. There's a little knob back here, right there. And when you turn it, the first one drops out. And this white piece holds in this second one in on the top, and then when you turn it again, the second one drops ready to go, and then at the bottom. So I thought that was a pretty cool design. It's new, something we haven't really seen before. So I'm really glad they did that. Makes it a little more unique, makes it stand out. So because there have been a lot of Star Wars ships that have that feature, so they keep uh, keeping it fresh, which I like. This older one has similar features and if you look back here I'll show you this little red tab 
push up on that. Bombs fall out this little chute in the back. I'll show you what that looks like from the inside. There they are on that little shelf. And you press up and gravity does the rest. You fall down the tray. So I like that feature uh, in comparison with the uh, the shuttle. I think they're both they both do a good job. Uh, I think the only thing about this one, the Imperial Craft, is the bombs are a lot smaller as you can see compared to that. So these are easier to find. And they look cooler. So the top of this ship, like I said, I wasn't sure what it was for. Uh, it is eight flick fire missiles, so they're not going to fall. But when I first saw this ship, I thought that you just press on them like that. But in fact, there is a little plunger back here. And when you press on it, it hits this gray piece and shoots that forward like that. There we go. I'm going to try and catch it so you can see it. So it comes out that little slot right there. You can see. And when they're all out, you get eight of them. When they're all out, this white piece falls straight through the center. See that little slot right there? Which uh, is kind of weird, actually. I thought they'd have a little door to catch that, but you can easily mod that. you got a lot of space.